Well, hello there. Yes, I know, it's been a while. This is Jordy here at um, Carving Fusion. Oops, I mean, let art find you. Um, this video is going to talk about painting and how I got into painting and what's going to be happening with my painting. Um, 13 years, what's 2022 now? 13 years ago, I had a, uh, long story short, I had a TBI, a, a traumatic brain injury. And I needed to create, I needed to um, keep my hands moving and keep my mind going. And it's been um, a huge part of my therapy from my injury. So maybe if you somebody's going through some mental problems, this channel might be able to help them too. Because we're going to do some painting on this channel. We're going to do some craft stuff. No, we're not going to be knitting. But like um, maybe some mosaic tiles. I'll show you guys in a bit here that I did in the past. Uh, make some bird spinner things. and Just make some fun stuff, right? So... Um, my other channel for it, all you that don't know, I'm a wood carver, okay? So I'm Jordy at Carving Fusion on YouTube. Um, I started painting, then I got into, my paintings weren't doing it for me. I'm going to show you guys my paintings here in a few minutes. I'm gonna, they're not very good. I can't draw, I can't paint, and I'm not even a very good wood carver. So, um, it's just about finding something that helps you through the battle that you're going through to get your mind off the battle. Say if you've got a really sore leg, if you find painting, when you're painting, even if you're not very good, who cares? Just start painting anything. I'm going to show you guys some real simple things that I, that I do that helps me. Um, and it's anybody can do it, okay? So um, there's another YouTube channel named um, Studio on the Lake. His name is Ben. He's, I'm in Canada. He's in the United States. We're online friends. Um, I classify him as a good friend. Um, his YouTube channel, Studio on the Lake, is uh, wood carving. And he started another channel um, about watercolor painting. Sorry, I hate to interrupt the video, but here is uh, one of Ben's paintings he sent me a couple years back. So there's his landscape with uh, it's a Canadian goose, or it's I think it's a, maybe a dove one of those birds. I'm not good at recognizing birds, but it looks like a Canadian goose to me. But anyway, so this is uh, this is that. This is what Ben's up to. And um, he does some cool Christmas cards and stuff too. So I guess I better go get this in the frame here now. So he has, I'll leave a link to this, his video below. He started his other channel and he sent me a box. He's sending me a box of uh, expensive, um, his ex, his mother, his, I think she's passed away, sorry. But she had some watercolors that were good there. And he put me a kit together. And he's going to be doing tutorials for me to follow. And for you guys also to follow. Okay. For the last couple nights, I haven't been able to sleep. Because I found out tonight that uh, I've had a sore tooth. And I've been taking Advil. And those Advils are the non-drowsy ones. So the non-drowsy ones keep me awake. So I've been doing some little painting here. And I'll show you guys those after too. With these, these are cheap watercolors from... Uh, Walmart, North Shore, I think they were like $15. So I just wanted to get started because Ben's sending me the good, like, professional paints. And I don't want to try and figure out what I'm doing with those paints because it could be a big waste. And I don't want to, they're expensive. It's not cheap. So don't feel like you have to have the expensive paints, everybody. You can use these. They're probably just not as, well, they're definitely not as good as the professional paints, Okay. So um, I'll show you what I did after. Let's pull these paints aside. And I want to say most of my paintings that I'm going to show you, these are char charcoal pencils. Okay. I still got like 200 of these pencils. So there's like a there's like a hard, there's a soft, and there's a medium. So these are sold charcoal. You can see I got the packs of them right here. Like I said, I still probably have about 150 of these pencils. So lots of my work... Car uh, drawings and paintings were with these charcoal and then you get a smudger i got a bunch of those too i should have showed you but we'll talk about it uh on another video and here's just some paint brushes this is a this is what a cheap one that i bought for uh the watercolor till i get ben's good stuff and all my paintings like now if i was going to do paintings with the acrylic I basically, all my paintings, I just use dollar store stuff because I didn't know the difference between a good paint and, and a not a very good paint, right? So if I started doing the acrylic paint again, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd go buy myself some fairly decent, almost professional paints and some professional paint brushes to get going. But, you know, like 
I'm going to show you guys my paintings that I did. This was, it's probably been like six years since I've done these six, seven years, but it, it helped through my therapy. Okay. So I don't exp like, a, like I have most of my paintings. I can't sell them. I, I like, I can't keep up with my wood carvings. Those things sell like right away, but my paintings are just, they were for my therapy. And if it's, if this channel is able to help you just, um, I hope it's, I hope that's good. This video might be long. So here's a really ugly one. Okay. And what I did, I, I got these uh, art boards. I don't know, number 27. I got these at a place called um, uh, Opus Art. So here's the ugly koi fish one I did. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this one. I don't. I like the waves on this one. And there's a couple nice cherry blossoms in there. But this green, it's just way too bright. So this is done with um, ink pens. Okay, so yeah. You draw it on, then you get water, and you bleed it out, kind of just like the watercolor. And we'll talk about those another day, too. So there's one. Here's another one with, um, this is like a cherry. So on my YouTube channel, on my uh, Carving Fusion channel, I talk about swoosh lines and stuff like that. So this is what I'm, re this is, like, these are the original swoosh lines that I talk about. I call it my mother's spirit. But it's kind of like, this is all based on uh, Japanese art. Okay, uh, trust me. I know they're not very good, but I just want to show you guys to to show you where I'm going to be going with the acrylic paints. I'm not really one much to paint for a landscape landscape scene, but if Ben's going to make some tutorial videos, I will be following those videos. Okay, so there's this is this one is done with white charcoal. So you draw the charcoal on, and then you get a smudger and you smudge it out and you blend the colors. See how it's all blended nice? There's no really sharp edges to the blend. Kind of just like tattoo stuff, right? This you guys get a kick out of this one. Sick dude, yeah, I was I've been called sick dude more than once. I want to get that tattoo on my knuckles, sick dude, but I just never done it. Here's a skull I drew. This is uh, dollar store paint. All of this, yeah, and um, even this. See, it's got the hand, there's a crown, uh, like a, like a. A, th a throne drink thing and a couple strippers there but like even this skull i didn't draw this on there i had to transfer it on here because i transferred it and i did all the shading but i like this one i did this one for myself not to well, all my paintings i did for myself this one's kind of like a geisha girl and what i had to copy this on with a template and then i shaded it painted it so all this st stuff here is charcoal with these pencils right and smudging it, smudging it in, and all the the rose and the flower petals and stuff. So this one's okay. The face is kind of off a bit, but I just like the the dark colors with the bright with the reds, like that rose. When I was painting, I was just doing all black and white stuff, and um, my stepmother, um, she introduced me to a painter lady. And the lady said, I love your how your dark your stuff is dark and it flows and stuff like that. But why don't you try adding a bit of color in the darkness? So not this piece, but that's when I started adding some color to the um to the darkness. See this one's super bright. I don't know what I was thinking here, but so you got oceans there, you got mountains back there. Like, look at this mountain. That doesn't look like a mountain. They're too pointy to be mountains. And you got an eagle flying up there or a hawk or something. And you got his nest there. Some branches. I've always liked to, I've always wanted to carve trees. Uh, I, I just love trees. This one I kind of like. It's fall colors. And this is done with those uh, ink pens. But this is uh, regular paint here. Fall colors with the maple leaves. And this is when I signed my stuff, Jay Johnson, not just Jay. But that's pretty neat. See how they kind of like overlap? So that one's kind of neat. This one, um, this one's got the heart on it. And it's got some gold in there. This one I carved it. I, not carved it. I paint, I drew it. Then I, I drew this thinking of my ex-girlfriend, one of the girls I really loved. She's super beautiful, but she was kind of crazy. And I made a post on Facebook. I says, and I posted this picture. I says, I made this this uh, painting for for the a girl I love. If she knows who she is, she'll come and get it. Well, she never got it. <laughs> it's still here. 
This one's pretty bright. This is like, see how I carve these um, on my other channel? I carve these flower petals. See how you're, you always kind of got a style and you progress. So here's a Buddha face I painted and it's all gold in there. And um, another flower, so they all branch off to each other. You guys will see how my carvings resemble my paintings, kind of. This one, I don't know if this is going to bore you guys, but I just want to give you guys the idea of like who I really am as a person. This one's an octopus. So you can see like all the dark, this is all charcoal in here, okay? And then you put some color in here with this octopus and then the green petals and it makes it really pop. It's just my style. Here's uh, Oni. This is strictly all paint. And then I got gold leaf in his earrings. But you see how you just... Now you guys can see my original swoosh lines. When I go swoosh, think about S lines, right? Nice curves. Nothing sharp. There's no sharp bends in it. This one's uh, one of bamboo. So you got the charcoal here, paint, and the outline of the red stuff. So like I said, all this stuff's just from dollar store paint. So if you guys don't have much money, go to the dollar store, get your paint, and just try just do whatever you want. So here's some bamboo. I like um, I like painting simple things because I'm not a good drawer. So yeah, this is some bamboo that I did. This one is um, this is uh, those are kind of different weirder flowers that I did on the tree. There's a tree here, different flowers, and there's waves here. Some kind of weird mountain back there. Oh, look, there's a naked lady on the beach with a pumpkin or a cooler or something. So that's all charcoal. I really like the cherry blossoms. This uh, all charcoal. Just some paint in there and some Japanese symbol. Lots of my um, paintings, my God, I got ones that are bigger than this. Like they're probably like, like, well, they're a lot bigger to fit in the screen. But lots of them, like, see all this stuff here? It's kind of like Japanese stuff. I would hide faces in there. Like, this one even might have a... Here's a Japanese symbol. This one might have a face hidden in here somewhere, but I don't see it right now. But I like doing this stuff. It's super fun, and it's um, it's it's easy on the mind. Here's a, w a weird, drippy one. So, it's like I drew a moon, and I cut this out, and I was... I don't know. I was just trying to be artistic or something, but... So you can see this is the charcoal and the rest is paint. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like friggin' look at it this way. Looks like Pac-Man or something. Like with the mouth and the nose. Anyways, carry on. Here's a Japanese one with some bamboo and the the cherry blossoms, some pointy mountains in the background. A Japanese boat. This is all white charcoal. Okay. This is paint. I'm going to show you guys the charcoal and stuff in the videos. If you don't have to watch them, don't watch. If you don't want to watch them, don't watch them. This one is uh, gold and silver leaf maple leaves. I got some gold and silver paint in here too. You can see it's shiny. Uh, I like this one. It's simple. But just to show you guys, you don't, like, you can get a piece of, take a print off the computer and print these maple leaves, draw them on, then paint inside them. This one's kind of right out there. The Japanese symbol with uh, the bronze metallic color in there. See all those more of those flowers? Oh, look. What a, what a coincidence. Yeah, I got some bricks back there too. More flowers. This one, I don't know what I was thinking. Kind of odd colors. This one here... Um, I was trying to create the northern lights. It's, this one's not finished, but I got a couple more here I'll show you guys. I like this one. This one's a longer one. See so a bonsai tree there with uh, charcoal. You got charcoal up here. And you got the rising waves. It's the, uh, no, sorry, you got the waves. And it's the rising sun. See, the sun's right here and it, the beams go out this way. So there's that, and here's uh, this one. So you know, because I've experimented, and I've spent a lot of money. So 
what I did here is I sp I did this all the background here. See the ray the sun rays. This is paint. All these sun rays. I did it with uh, charcoal. Then I sprayed it the clear coat. And well, this one the, the eagle head in here kind of faded quite a bit, but that's okay. In my cheap cheesy mountains. But here's an example. So you. Oh no, this isn't an example. But here, here's this one's going to be an eagle. Let's see those nice swooshy lines. That's that's what I like to do. This is this is the this stuff right here is the most relaxing stuff for me to do. Even when I'm wood carving, just doing nice lines, trying to make them nice and smooth so they're not all uh, jaggedy and rigid. See, I'll put the feather in here. I just haven't finished this one yet. Um, so let me carry on. And let me um, show you some of the watercolors I've been doing over the last couple of days. Sorry, everybody. I'm not, not at the watercolors yet. I found some more uh, pictures pictures of paintings this one's kind of it i wanted it to be like uh veins there's a buddha face down there so yeah i was just kind of thinking like something different with this with veins here's uh, another rising sun so now you can see here see the face the nose the chin the mouth there's a face here there's a face there with the nose there's a face see this guy screaming he's got a big mongoloid forehead okay but there's the faces and there's just a simple one right there that reflects out looking at the rising sun it's just about opening your mind okay i don't claim to be a, a very good painter or anything like that i just want to share my stuff with you guys here's a buddha some rose petals or whatever petals my cherry blossom stuff stuff Going up some bamboo. This one I did spray with gloss. Here's another bam. Here's another bu uh, Buddha with some bamboo. This one I, I thought was kind of neat. See the face there. There's an eagle up in the up in the moon. So don't get me wrong. I didn't draw this on here. I I got a copy and I I outlined it. And I modified it, and I did the shading. So I painted this, okay, and then I went on the uh, with the white charcoal over it. It's kind of like a fantasy piece. This reminds me of the face that uh, Uncle Kevin carves on YouTube. Uncle Kev carves. So yeah, that's that. This one I did for a contest in Ladner to the Eagle Head to get. Uh, you had to enter a contest. So there's like a fishing boat here. And uh, my friend's initials on there, and there's a mountains and an eagle soaring with the eagle head up here. I did it for a contest to try and win. So you, if you won, you, your, your, your painting would be on banners throughout the town. Here's another one that I did with a colored eagle. Looks like there's a Canadian penguin right there, and the soaring eagle. And some colorful waves because they wanted colorful pieces this one is just uh i guess i was feeling pretty angry when i did this it's just some red bamboo with a cliff there this one was just well this one's not done and here's another simple bamboo one so i i did all the painting i sprayed it then i did the the charcoal okay so here's another one with faces in there so you guys see the faces up in here? And they're they're all throughout it. Like some's looking that way, and this is this is what I really love to do right here. This, this is the, the see a face there looking that way. This is the the, the carving fusion or I'm sorry, let art find you swoosh lines. Right, that's it. Okay, so there's a couple bigger pieces here I want to show you. I'm gonna have to raise the camera up one second, please. Okay, so here is uh, one that I did, a bigger one. See a geisha lady with the oni mask? Don't get me wrong, I had to trace these on, then I painted them. So, you guys see the face right there? Skull eyes. Notice there's no bottom jaw on that skull. Just referring to my other channel, everybody. So there's that one. I like this one. I was pretty proud of that one. Oh, and look, look at this. 
here's another geisha she's kind of uh see her face there she's uh she's got a tear there there's a, a japanese fan behind her there's my signature and a little necklace on there cherry blossoms but you see she's crying because over in the yonder there's a grave site and that was her loved one has passed away so that's what that meaning is but see more swoosh lines okay well speak of the devil with swoosh lines here you go this stuff is so easy to do just to smooth it out and use your smudger to put just draw a little bit on and smudge it out and just make it nice and smooth and i think it looks cool i still love this stuff See, there's kind of like an angry moon in there that's got the gold leaf on it. Yep, so it's more like a native kind of moon. That's what, no, that's all right. Well, that's what Carving Fusion is about. Just it, my other channel is about any style you want to do. This one I really like. It's the ghost, it's the ghost of the whale. See all the waves on here and the whales right there? This is, uh, I don't know if it's spray or not, but that's uh, charcoal, that whale. See the killer whale in there? So that's that. Um, let me get the, uh, where's the watercolor paints that I've done? Let me put this stuff away. I'll show you guys the watercolor I've done in the last couple days. And then I want to show you a, a big a mosaic, mosaic tile piece I've done. Okay, we are back once again. Stop shaking. So this is done with these uh, cheap watercolors. I'm sure you can get cheaper, but. I'm sure these aren't very good. Here, here's an example. I just signed it J now, and there's my swoosh lines. This, again, I'll repeat myself, is my funnest thing to paint. It's just so, you put on some music and you just let the lines flow, okay? So that's, so I'm showing you what I'm practicing here, Ben's studio in the lake. I hope you see this video. And uh, I've, like I said, I've always liked trees, so I practiced a tree. I know it's basic, okay? But... I practice just doing the shading and stuff like that and yeah so um, the good thing about watercolors is let me explain this if my paint if I pull this up with water well sorry if I paint it and I don't like the way the colors are because I'm I like I, I will admit I am terrible with blending colors and I do not know the color board Ben so please make a video explaining the color board by detail because I just can't get it. I don't understand what's a good color goes with a bad color. Okay. So, but when, when you got the watercolor painted on here and you don't like it, you can get a rag and you can damp it on there and you get rid of the color and put different color on there. So that's this one. I thought I was painting with red. Well, I guess not. It's pink. So there's some more of my swoosh Japanese wind lines. I was going to burn it, but there's a girl out there, might, maybe one day, that might want this, or I don't know. I probably should burn it. This one I was just practicing still. This is the first one I did. See my pointy mountains? I still got to get better at mountains. And more, more of my, that's my mother's wind line right there. And Japanese, this, if you guys look up old Japanese tattoos or old Japanese, you'll see stuff like this. They're very uh, common tattoos. So this is the one. Let's show you this one. This one, uh, just carved Rob likes this guy. He's incorrect. Like his, I need to, I have a, why I switched to, I'll explain right now why I switched to wood carving from painting. Because when I was painting, I didn't know how to make things look round. Okay. Wood carving, it's not hard. You just carve in it and it, carve it round. Right. So I, I, I could fix this, make the beard go up the face, but I think it's pretty neat. See all the cracks in his forehead? This looks like an old warrior with a beard that doesn't roll off his uh, face properly. And this is the one I did tonight. I'm pretty proud of this one, actually. It's a bit different. But it's kind of like a... Well, it's kind of like a fantasy tree. See, I reach this out. So it kind of, if you look here, I get a thin black line. So it looks like this blue sky and stuff is cut off. In the back, in the back, it's dark sky. So the the trees just kind of reaching out. This big branch come down here, and I got some little white lines around those cracks. I think it's I'm 
and see how like you get different colors in the in the watercolor and i just put a nice thin black line around there just it's my style some people will think this is totally incorrect well i don't care it's an incorrect friggin tree do you think i care it's just about having fun and practicing so that's about it i'm proud of this one i probably will put this one in a little frame and keep it but the more i do the better i'm gonna get just like all you guys the more that you do, the more I do this face or a tree, the better it's going to get, right? Maybe I'll use maybe I'll use these ones as a, as a thumbnail right here. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And let's take this uh, thumbnail right here. That's it. Perfect thumbnail for this video. Okay, so let me uh, set up the mosaic. T There's two mosaic tile pieces I want to show you, and they're heavy. Okay. So you guys can see by the size of my hand how big this is. It's a koi fish. This is heavy. I put this on a piece of plywood that's like, um, I think it's like three quarters inch thick. These are all uh, tiles you can buy just like this, the stones. Um, I think I painted them and scuffed them up. It's all just uh, tiles from the tile store. All in here is abalone shell tiles. So I had to buy the whole tile, then break the little shells off. So that's all abalone in there. It's all abalone here. All this, the outside of the white things, I should have probably done blue. But anyways, all this right here is abalone shell all the way around. Let's see if you can see how shiny it is. But that's the shell that I put in my carving sometimes. So yeah, and all down this side too. It's all abalone shell. So there's this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just been sitting around here forever. I'm thinking that I'm going to carve, uh, I'll get some driftwood and make a, a frame for it. But this thing probably weighs like 60 pounds. I don't know how you're going to hang it up on a wall. If anybody would want to hang this thing, it's, it's not the greatest look. It says what it is. It's a koi fish, but come on. Okay, and here's the last one. This one I like a lot more. It's just a killer whale with some mountains, some pointy mountains in the background. This, These are all uh, steel cap little tiles that I had to buy the whole tile and break them off. Same with these ones. They're like steel top. Just, you know, you buy the whole tile that's got little things in there and just break them off. But these tiles all myself I broke. I put some like bubble ones in there, some little glass round ones. I signed this one in behind, so I signed it backwards. That makes sense to you to make it look front. Just got some bubble ones in here. But that's it, everybody. There's some mosaic tile. So we'll be doing some smaller mosaic tile ones. I got some ideas. So I think uh, if anybody wants to get into painting, follow. Um, I'm going to put a It's called Studio on the Lake Painting, I believe. I'm going to put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. Head over there to subscribe to Ben. And he'll be doing the tutorial videos, and I'll be doing a few cop. Even if it's landscaping, I'm not a huge landscape landscape uh, painter. You can tell by my paintings, that's not really who I am. But if Ben's taking the time out of his day to make the video for me and for you guys, I'm going to follow along, and I'm going to learn along the way. It's just about having fun and uh, opening your mind. Find a passion. Painting's still my passion too, but I suck. So that's why I started uh, wood carving, and well, I suck at that too. So anyways, um, carry on. Be well, everybody. And uh, thanks for popping into another video of Let Art Find You. Later. Also, everybody, I'd like to say please give this video a, a, a thumbs up because they got rid of the dislike button. And now the more thumbs up that we're getting on our videos, the more that uh, YouTube is um, suggesting our videos for other artists. Even though this we're beginners, we got to start somewhere, right? Thank you. Hope you can hit that thumbs up. See you later. Bye.